So you can um, definitely use comedy to heal people mm. in their pain. And you got connected with uh, Salt and Light Coalition. So tell us more about that. Sure. Uh, Salt and Light Coalition is an organization that works with uh, women who have survived sex trafficking. Uh, many of the women that they serve uh, were sold into trafficking by mm. their parents at a young age. So many of them either have a very short if or maybe a non-existent childhood to, to uh, draw from. So they're very stunted in ma many areas as far as emotions, uh, uh, especially the ability now to trust people. And so, and most of them obviously have been hurt and used and abused by men. Mm -hmm. So the fact that me as a guy ha was asked to come in and serve, the weight of that is not lost on me, but it, I also Absolutely. see the benefit because here is a man in a healthy relationship with his wife who is in a healthy relationship with the Lord who can come in and bring that as a model for these women to show that it is possible that not every single man is a creep that's going to hurt you. Right. So, and I, I value that ability to, and that opportunity to bring that example uh, to them. And I teach improv as a way to improve their communication because uh, many of them, like I said, had are stunted either, um, educationally either they were they had to drop out of school because they were doing what their handlers or pimp or whatever you want to call them were making them do and so i go and help them improve communication uh find and develop their self-esteem because when you're learning improv and you're creating stuff together you're starting to realize wait i have a voice i have something to say and the things that i say can be valuable and that only helps to improve the self-esteem. So they start realizing that all the stuff that I've been through in the past is my past. And all the work that I'm doing now to get back on my feet and rebuild my life, I'm worth it because I have something to say. I have something to contribute. So we do that through improv. And at the end of the day, they get an hour where they can laugh like kids, either for the first time or laugh like kids again, because it, and, and it, I don't say these things to brag on me. Mm -hmm. God put me in this position. There was, there's been several times where the women have, or a couple of the women have come in and you could see that they are literally carrying their world on their back. The burdens are there. The brow is furrowed. The, you could see in their eyes that they're waiting for somebody to say that one word so that they can explode on them. Mm -hmm. And part of what they have to do is they have to participate even if they're not feeling it so they they still get in the circle they still participate in the games and you can see literally that that facade crack and fall you literally see them crack up and within five minutes of participating the burden is gone the the fierceness in their eyes the the anger or the frustration or the hurt it it fades away and they get to forget that and realize that there's hope, that there's something bigger than what they're wrestling with in that moment. And that has been such a huge blessing for me to be a part of that for the last couple of years. And um, and like I said, it's it's such a blessing to to be a man in that position, to kind of be an ambassador, literally an ambassador for Christ to show that it's okay to to trust again. And I, and I love doing that. Thank you for listening to the Wounds of the Faithful podcast. If this episode has been helpful to you, please hit the subscribe button and tell a friend. You can connect with us at dswministries.org, where you'll find our blog along with our Facebook, Twitter, and our YouTube channel links. Hope to see you next week.